um, I'm feeling a lot of communication with exes, okay? And this is especially if you have children together, um, if you are like co-parenting, it's, um, it's unavoidable. But I feel like if you're in a new relationship, that is going to cause a little bit of a sore spot and bring up some insecurities and jealousies when it comes to your new relationship partner, okay? So I feel like uh, there are a lot of blended families in the mix and also people who might not be married, but, you know, having children and then having to divide the time just to make the, the children happy, just to give the children a sense of normalcy. And I feel like you have a really soft spot when it comes to family. And even if it's exes, you still consider them family if you have kids together. And so it's hard for you to say no even if you're trying to make a new relationship work so i feel like some of you might um spend the the a lot of time with the um mother or father of your children and i feel like your new relationship partner might feel a little bit neglected okay so be careful about that you know nurture your existing relationship i understand why you do it and um but I feel like, you know, it's important to nurture your new relationship and not put the new person in an awkward position where they're going to feel insecure, they're going to feel jealous, or they're going to feel confused about where your loyalties are, okay? Um, I'm also feeling as well, for some of you, there is this sense of like, um, what it feels like to me is um clear resolutions okay and i'm i'm sensing like if you've had confusing communication with a person from your past i feel like that's going to come to an end you're going to have a clear sense of where this person is going and how they feel about you i am sensing that some of you are dealing with somebody who is very very like um they, they put on like a very tough facade, but deep down they're very wounded, they're very broken, and they have trust issues, and they are also quite insecure. But they put on a very, very tough facade, and so you think that they're very, very strong, but they also give you like mixed messages. And so they're not as independent as you think, okay? And that's going to come as a surprise for some of you where you're going to start to see their lack of independence show up this month. It's going to be surprising. And then I also feel like they're not as stoic and they're not as tough as they would like you to believe. And you see through all of this and you have two more cards. You see through all of this. And um, I feel like this is the month where you have confirmation of that. So you're going to need to give extra attention to your current relationship partner. I do feel like there's an emotional lack or like they're, they're needing more from you and they need you to step up. They need more of a grand gesture. They need to feel secure in their relationship with you. So you can't really expand outwards and, you know, have cords of attachments and, you know, siphon your energy off to exes or obligations or, you know, whatever it is. You need to be physically, emotionally and, you know, just... Um, present for your current relationship partner so let me talk about um let's talk about this first it's the foundation and what we have here is the high priestess and the two of wands funnily enough um when i picked up the high priestess remember when i said in the general reading that you have somebody that you're dealing with who has very expressive eyes the eyes are popping up here with the high priestess. So I feel as if you're dealing with somebody who is from a distance. So once more, the two of wands is a long distance relationship. It's also a relationship where you might be very different from each other. It's like um, culturally, they might be of a different background. They might hail from a different environment, okay? So culturally, uh, linguistically, ethnically, you might be very different. Or you're just raised in a very, very different way where you believe in different things. So I feel like you're with somebody like this. And I also feel as if there's this sense here with the high priestess. This is coming into realization, into new information, looking at somebody for the first time. 
and realizing, you know, how vulnerable they are. So despite them uh, acting very independent, very, very um, stoic and very self-sufficient, I feel like they're going to need you. And I'm sensing that they're not going to tell you verbally, I need you here. I want you to do these things. They're going to show it to you in a very nonverbal way. So I feel like you're sensing it. And you're getting some type of a confirmation of how much they need you. So for those of you who are in a long distance relationship, I feel like you just need to make yourself available. Skype them, make the time for them, do, you know, cute little things together to surprise them. Okay, that's really going to strengthen your relationship. I'm also feeling as well, there's going to be news, communication, good things coming in to kind of bridge that physical distance. If you are in a relationship and you're kind of like far away from each other, there will be talks and discussions here. And I feel like it's going to be heartfelt and it's going to be very good. And it's going to create kind of like a contingency plan for the two of you to take trips together, one person to see the other or, or you to go see them. So I feel like it's a uh, long distance relationships. Um, they're going to want you know, some concrete, um, some concrete actions from your end. Okay. So that is still coming in. In the past, we have the seven of cups. So this is you getting out there, um, kind of like getting involved with a lot of people. So we have the seven of cups, which is about choices, options, fantasies, and as well as, as internet dating. If you have a person that is far away from you, and you've been dating and especially, you know, um, stepping out on the relationship, I feel like there is confrontation. So be careful about that. Okay. It's in the past. So I feel like it happened before and you might've fessed up or they might've found out. And this is the month where it might trigger those trust issues again. And I feel like this is the energy here with the magician. I feel like you were um, socially dating a lot of people. You were playing the field. And, you know, if you're like single and you're dating, that's totally fine. You want to keep your options open. But this is kind of like um, having multiple options, having a really, really good social life. And I feel as well that other people looked at you in a very desirable way. So the interaction itself was very, very ego, ego gratifying. But I feel like at the end of the day, uh, none of these options were like, you know, completely viable. None of these options were um, tremendously great, you know, where it would lead to a long term relationship. So I feel like if it fed the ego, it was exciting, it was fun. And there were a lot of options which really boosted your self esteem. And I also feel as well, there were also a lot of expenditures associated with this lifestyle. And um, I'm sensing many of you are, you know, trying to be on the straight and narrow path. And you're trying to devote exclusively to just one person. You're trying to narrow down, or at least you're trying to, you have plenty of options. But I feel like the options were, were not like all that great. And so you're trying to find the right person. You're trying to stick with one person. For others of you, you might have been dating this person, this magician person. This is a very charming, very attractive, very intelligent person. They might weave you, you know, um, a grandiose dream. But I feel like when it comes to following through, the magician is not like a great boyfriend. He or, or a girlfriend, he or she is they have a lot of options on the table. They have a lot of things that they're involved in. They have a lot of people that they're involved with. And I feel like it's an illusion. Okay. It's somebody that's too good to be true. And it's an illusion. And some of you might have left this person behind. And which brings us to the present moment where we have here the five of cups. This is a card about regrets. This is a card about sadness. And this is like pining for the past. Okay. Not being able to move on into the future or pining for the past. And I feel many of you, and this can go two ways. You're pining for that lifestyle where you can, you know, go out, have fun without having to, um, answer to your partner without having to, you know, um, it's, it's almost like wanting this lifestyle, but also wanting the intimacy of a solid, stable relationship. 
And so some of you might be pining after a physical person or pining after that lifestyle where you can go out, have fun, be with whoever you please and not have to answer to anybody. But I feel more than anything, this is like pining after this magician person, this really smart, charming, sweet, um, just like very handsome, attractive type of a person. And there is a stoppage in communication because you also understand that they're really hard to pin down. They're not made to be with one person. Some of you, that was like the reality check here with the high priestess, where you came to this realization and you realize as well that you need to move on, mainly because if you stay with this person, they, they've already got your heart and they can... It's like they're not a bad person, but I just feel like they have issues committing, okay? Um, crowning this reading is something that you're thinking about. We have here the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is a situation where we kind of go against our intuition. We kind of go against the advice of our friends, of our relatives, of our best friends who knows what's best for us. And they might tell you, don't date this person. Don't get involved with that person or don't listen to what this person is telling you. Look at their actions. Look at, you know, the concrete actions that they're giving you. And there's a sense here about you being so, I, I want to say like idealistic and also having such great faith in a specific person that you can't really, you don't see the forest for the trees. So you might have lost yourself in a relationship. You might have like isolated, you know, yourself from good friends, mainly because they're giving you advice. They don't want you to, they don't want to see you get hurt. And I feel as well, they want what's best for you. And so, but you are going to do what you emotionally are drawn to doing and you're going to love whoever you love and it's like despite all opposition you're still on board and you will defend the other person i'm sensing because of that some of you are dealing with a little bit of like i stuck up for that person you know i defended them why couldn't they commit to me why couldn't they do the same for me so i'm feeling um there's a little bit of regret here about, I should have listened to my friends. I should have done this. I should not have let that person in. I shouldn't have, you know, let them fool me. And this high priestess is listening to our intuition. And if we don't listen to it, the truth will come spilling out. And it's going to come spilling out at a point where it might be a little bit too late. And it can be a little bit hurtful. Okay, so I feel some of you are still dealing with this residual energy. And this is the month where you start to finalize plans. And I feel in the future, you're going to be moving on. Okay, you're going to sail away. You're not going to look back because right now you're still waiting for answers. And the month of December will bring you that answers. But I feel like it's going to come not from that person, but it's going to come from somebody else to validate that the person is not right for you. So if you're waiting on communication, if you're hoping for things to get better, and if you're hoping for things to turn around and, you know, so that you can reunite, I don't feel there's um, coming together. I feel that you're going to sail away, okay? And then likewise, if you're dealing with a person and they are there's information coming to light. And especially if you're at a distance from each other, I feel there is a coming together where there are trips taken, there are voyages to, you know, kind of like bridge that distance between the two of you and a solidification in a relationship. So for those of you who are in relationships and things have been very, very rocky because of family, because of like, um, lingering attachments, blended family, children, and exes that you have sh children with, you're going to sail away from this. And I feel like your partner is going to be there for you. Okay. Um, so that's in stable relationship. I feel like those of you in stable, but a little bit rocky relationships, you're going to come out of this all right. And it's going to strengthen your relationships. I feel for those of you who are single, you're waiting on communication from an ex and the ex shows up here as you know that really really attractive unforgettable person um you're going to be moving away from it because 
I feel like you're going to reach the point where you realize this is not a person that is interested in just one relationship. Um, you have two other cards that fell out. And uh, what we have here is the Page of Coins, as well as the Ace of Swords. And uh, if you're dealing with an Earth sign, okay, so this is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, I feel like this person has the wondering eyes. They're a little bit flirtatious, too flirtatious for my taste. And I feel like this is not a good person for you to be in a relationship with. And uh, even though they show up as an earth sign in the reverse position, they could also um, ex exhibit the traits of like the page of cups in the reverse where they're very flirtatious. They're very um, good at flirting, very good at flirting. And with the Ace of Swords, this is like lies and deception. Somebody's not being honest and truthful with you. And I feel as well um, very strongly Earth sign, okay? And if you are in a long distance relationship with another person and um, you are the one that needs that grand gesture from them, I feel like they're going to give you, you know, bits and pieces and scraps to appease you rather than give you that commitment. So I want you to keep your eyes very, very wide open for these signs, for these signals, because I feel like you're being kind of like pulled along and emotionally. And I also feel like psychically, you know, these things, your intuition are telling you these things, your intuition is telling you these things. But I feel like in the moment of it, you might not see it clearly. Okay, so just be careful about that. 